right here with Mark Trellis Sr. Uh, following the um, Beat the Streets inaugural uh, gala event in Detroit. Um, you know, what were your thoughts on the event overall, and did it uh, meet the expectations you had going in? I thought the event went really well. Uh, the dinner it was extremely well attended. About 200 people there uh, for a first-time gala. I thought it was very engaging. A lot of people that knew wrestling, and more importantly, a lot of people that didn't know wrestling that came out here and were invited by other people. Uh, I thought the wrestling matches were exciting. They were really well done. Uh, we had nine bouts. Uh, two ladies wrestled uh, matches, and we had uh, seven other uh, young men wrestle. I thought that uh, we did good tonight. As far as beat the streets as a whole, um, you know, in in just reading, it looked like 13 years. Uh, up and running. When, when did you get involved in it, and um, you know what made you kind of jump to uh, this organization and get it going? I got involved as a co-founder with Coach Mike Rodriguez 13 years ago, and we had a random meeting uh, at an airport in St. Louis after the NCAA wrestling championships. And he told me that uh, he wanted to start a Beat the Streets program. Uh, he was just getting started, and I uh, had told him I'd love to jump in with him. And so we started uh, grassroots, right from the, uh, the the basics, and put together a program at Patent Recreation in Southwest Detroit. And uh, up to this point now, we have six different locations, and uh, we're reaching quite a few kids. What are the, um, I guess, as far as the, the mission, and you know, what's the what's the long term uh, vision for the program, and you know, what are maybe the next steps for what you guys are working on now? Well, the vision for the program is to increase the number of Detroit public schools that have wrestling and also to create a feeder program for those schools. So we look to have uh, our new uh, head coach, Robert Emery, uh, focusing on putting together uh, feeder programs around the city of Detroit, uh, bringing on some additional coaches so that we can develop young wrestlers, grade school, middle school, and have places for them to go in high school in the city of Detroit. When you look at you know the, the recent um, you know, 20, 2022 state champion, Jamarcus Smith, uh, from Detroit Mumford, who came through the program, and the things that it uh, has done for him. Um, is he kind of like the, the poster boy for the program? Is it, you know, is that the, the model that, that you're looking to follow? Is that, you know, I guess when you just think about uh, him and his story, you know, what kind of sticks out? Well, Jamarcus is somebody that, you know, he tells his own story that uh, he started in the, in the ninth grade destined for dropping out of school. Uh, not attending, not doing the things that he should do, and uh, you know, by him finding wrestling, it changed his life, it changed the trajectory of his life, also changed the opportunities that he has in life. So I think uh, you know, Jamarcus is now a graduate of Mumford High School and the state champion. Uh, he has opportunities that potentially he didn't have before, and that more specifically is, I think Jamarcus has the uh, the skills and the ability to wrestle at the next level, and we'll do whatever we can uh, to the Beat the Streets program myself personally to find that he uh, can try to achieve those. Uh, uh, those goals and get those opportunities. Um, you know, with, with the support staff that you guys have, how can other people get involved um, with the program? How can people help? Um, you know, what, what sorts of things can can people do to, to greater and, and further this cause? Uh, the, the best thing that they can do is go on our website at uh, BeatStreetsDetroit.com uh, and take a look at exactly what we have to offer. Uh, Mindy Herman, our executive director, is always, always available. Uh, to speak to people, and we're always looking for uh, number one, human capital, coaches, people that want to get involved, and number two, we'll take your financial contributions as well. Awesome. I would be remiss if I did not uh, ask a question about your Michigan Wolverines this year, uh, national runner-ups. Obviously, your son Josh is on the staff. Uh, the NCAA is in Detroit. Um, you know, how did how, you know what was that experience like for you, uh, being uh, an alum? And well, it was. It was the, it's the best possible experience. I mean. Uh, Took them 50 years to win a Big Ten championship as a team, super exciting. Uh, having Nick Seriano join our, uh, the Michigan squad really did make a difference for us. It, I think, raised the level of everybody. Miles Amin coming back, uh, Stefan Micic being in the lineup, and those guys committing and doing the things they did for the program. I don't know that I've ever been more excited for a Michigan wrestling program than I was for the University of Michigan. Awesome. Well, I appreciate the time. Um, I think uh, you know everyone appreciates the work that you're doing and, and continue to do. And um, we'll look forward to continued events. Is this something that is going to be a, a yearly event? Will it be at the DAC uh, every uh, year? Is that the plan? Uh, it's our first annual gala, so that means sure. we'll have a second annual that's going to be coming up. Uh, and our goal is, is to uh, look at this site as well as others, but we would like to involve more people. So uh, if, uh, if, if we can make it work, we'd love to be back at the DAC. If not, we'll find something else. Awesome. Appreciate it, and uh, thanks for a great event. Thank you. Appreciate it.